What is going on guys and welcome, welcome to this solo podcast today regarding a few topics I thought with the Christmas period now we're in a bit of a lull from Christmas to where we are now in waiting for New Year's to happen and probably people don't know their head from their ass currently at the moment with um, with everything that's going on you know, we've had the big high and spike of Christmas and now um, you're in that little lull period, you don't know what day it is, you're, you're tired all the time, uh, you're eating random foods at random times and this podcast right now is to essentially a little bit about me, but essentially to get you back on the track ready and rock and rolling for 2024. Well, where's the time gone? This year has flown by, hasn't it? Um, but before I start, just a massive shout out to, I put it on the live today, massive shout out to uh, Fat Dragon Coffee. They've um, they've been coming in hot lately and looking after us a lot. So massive shout out to them. Um and what they've been doing, a nice nice Welsh local brand as well, makes it even better. So in saying that, what is today all about? So like I said, what I've noticed with what I do for work, as I help people with their mindset, where they struggle with self-sabotage and they optimize where they want to go, um, you know, we give them clarity, I give them clarity on that and I give them the tools which have transformed over 45 people's business owners and your normal day-to-day run-of-the-mill people and professional athletes. All the same concepts, different outcomes for every person. So I'm very big on that. So today I'm going to share to you what are the two key fundamentals on what I do with my clients and myself which transform my life and what could potentially help you with yours. And you're going to get it all on this today. So I want you to rip and tear into 2024. I want you to realize that what you really want in this world is achievable. It all comes from the mindset. You can do a a thousand things outwards, but if you don't shift your mindset, you don't shift your behaviors, your patterns, and your emotions, then you are in a forever cycle and where you're not going to get anywhere. And it's that final saying, you keep doing the same things over and over. How do you intend to get different results? How do you tend to get different results if you if you are doing the same things? It's literally common sense. So today in this, I'm going to share with you a little bit about myself and how I got into this journey and how I got into impacting hundreds of people's lives. Going from, for instance, going from, uh, I've got three people I've wrote down on my list here of, of questions I've been given and a couple answers. But like, for instance, how have I got people like Brandon who is on 30K to change his salary, doing the same work to 90K in the matter of three months? How have I got Brandon uh, from 2K months to 5K months? All from changing his mindset and changing and removing the self-sabotage that we have in us and realizing our worth, realizing what our potential is. Or for instance, Dave, starting you know, starting as just a builder working for a company to now managing properties, now, now doubling his income, changing his life, losing weight, and his family are in a more fulfillment situation right now, position right now. How does that all happen? And they're all in different scenarios of their life. Because it comes down to the main thing, the mind, the way we think, our behaviors. If we can change that, you can literally achieve what you want. And I am I am proof of this. You know, from me um, playing in the rugby, play, playing, playing in the rugby, playing rugby my whole life to now transforming people's lives changing their mindset, changing their outlook on their life, having fulfillment, having meaning in their life. How is that possible? For me now, changing that and now from, you know, what I've earned and what I've done, becoming more knowledgeable, investing my money now into properties, having other passive incomes. Because when you're, you know, when you're doing what I do, you know, it's, it's really hard to grow a business when it's just a one, you know, one person. I'm the person of my company. Uh, right now so for me it's like well what do I do I need to make more passive income so it's understanding how you can do that building leverage leverage building connections and understanding what is right right now so this all comes down to again our mindset and as you can see from if I can do it and I thoroughly believe that if I can do it with my education of what I was like in school then 100% anyone can do it I think we you know I'm definitely not the smartest person but it's like anything. You put your mind to something and you can become a whiz kid of that. If you are interested in something enough, you can you can do that. So a little bit about me. Uh, rugby player. <laughs> rugby player my whole life. Uh, went to Australia at 19. 
Uh, before that, went to Leeds Rhinos from 17 to 19, sorry, and then went to Australia. Had multiple injuries. Um, but I was stubborn, stubborn. Sometimes being stubborn is good, sometimes stubborn is being bad. And I stuck to, you know, stuck to playing regardless of all the injuries. It was probably my body telling me, hey, it's time, it's time to let this go. But, you know, after three knee reconstructions, after, um, you know, numerous of identity crisis, depression, anxiety, feeling lost, self-sabotage, not knowing where I'm meant to be in life, then you realize in this that, you know, learning learning who you are and what you are and what you want to do and realizing what is, I don't like the word calling, but essentially it is your calling, realizing what you're passionate about and how you can achieve this and achieve what is really designed for you. And it actually comes down to always, it's always just you becoming more th more authentic, becoming proud of who you are, speaking your truth. You know, don't be a people pleaser. All of these things correlate to, bringing out the best version of you and letting go of those those identities, those triggers, those behaviors that weren't serving you anymore. So for me, you know, after the three knee reconstructions, after the ankle surgeries, after the broken hands, the the AC joints, the everything else, um, what I realized in that stage was there was times in there where I couldn't let go of something because I didn't know who I was without this. And that was the the, the, the pivotal moment for me of realizing that, I wanted a change and I didn't, but I didn't know how. And that is so relatable to everyone else. You know, how many people, well, how many people I've come worked, worked with or come across who have stuck to a career, they've fallen into a job at young age, at a young age and they've stuck to it. And, you know, they found a partner and, and they've had kids and, and it's just fallen all together. And that's totally fine. But they may be at their, you know, in their thirties, forties right now, or even fifties, and they're going, you know, I wish. No, I wish. I knew there was more for me. I knew I shouldn't have fallen into things. I should have more been more aware and done things which I, I knew I would be passionate about. I knew I would have been good about. But then what happens is we have this feeling of feeling trapped, feeling that we can't do these things because of you might have kids right now, or you might um you know, feel guilty leaving what you've you've built or what you've you've been in this company for so long and you're gonna lose out on so much if you did it, or the fear of change. The fear of change. And there's two ways that I work with my clients on what I do and what are the you know the two game changers on on achieving what you want. And for all of them and including myself, it's you know the, this program, I wouldn't even call you program, it's a, a method that has worked for so many people. It's called the paradigm mindset shift. So for you to change where you are right now, or if you feel like there's more for you right now, but you just don't know where to go, for you to change into finding out who that person is, you've got to change your actions. You've got to change your habits. You've got to change the story that you're telling yourself. You've got to change, your, change the beliefs, and then your identity changes. But if you've never been taught that and all you're doing at the moment is listening to podcasts, um, you know, reading books um, or not, maybe not even doing that, going to the gym. You know, you can read a thousand books, you can listen to this podcast, but if you don't implement the gems that I'm giving you right now, then they mean nothing because it, all it is is everything is action taken, actions, taking action on where you want to go and how you're going to do it. So for you to change it might be you've got to change those actions. You've got to change those daily habits, the story you're telling yourself, the beliefs, which then over a process of rep repetition on a daily daily devotion towards it with habits on top of that, which are in a line where you want to go, that's when you start to believe who you are, start to create yourself, create who you want to become. Because for you to create, for you to become who you want to become, then you can't be doing the person doing the things that you are right now. So, you know, when I was injured and I didn't know who I was, then I went down the self-sabotage self -sabotage route, route of, you know, surrounding myself with the wrong people, partying, covering up what was really underlying for me that I know I needed to do, but I wasn't doing it. And that can only happen for so long. 
and you'll feel trapped again. But if you're ready to take your life to the next level, then understanding the par paradigm mindset shift and then understanding my next part of the program is my habit stacker program. So you combine these two together and, and connect them together. And before you know it, over a process of letting go of old habits, behaviors, and triggers and emotions, and learning this new resilient mindset, clarity on where you want to go, and actually implementing the correct goals and habits on a daily on a daily spectrum, that's when you start to get excited about your future. That's when you start to go, shit, this is really all achievable. But you've got to learn to shift your mindset in this. But again, learning the paradigm mindset shift does this for you. Within a matter of, for instance, like I said to you earlier about just a couple of people on the program, and I've only named three of them today, but just the three of them going from 30K to 90K, uh, the other person changing his minimal income to a double income or more than double income a month while his partner's work, while his partner's looking after the kids. You know, all of this has happened and it's so easy to get caught up in, well, at the moment, we're, you know, my partner's off work, she's on maternity leave and you know, we've got a newborn and it's just not achievable to do this right now. It is achievable. It is achievable. You've just got to feel enough pain and emotion where you are right now to change. Because if you're not feeling enough pain and you're not feeling enough emotion in like, I'm sick and tired of this, then you're never going to change. So understanding that, understanding change comes from a pain, you know, comes from pain. For instance, red, let's just say, for instance, Red Bull, people drink Red Bull. Why do they drink Red Bull? They drink Red Bull because it gives them a caffeine hit and they feel better. It shifts their emotion. I wouldn't say it's Red Bull, the taste of it that they love. It's the emotion that comes with it. So just imagine it in that way. If you were doing what your purpose is or what you believe is best for you and you know deep down, and the reward is fulfillment, the reward is happiness, the reward is, um, you know, stronger relationships, you you love yourself more, you you respect yourself more, you respect your friends and your family, you're more present. All of these things come from it. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll continue to do them. I'm sure you'll continue to keep chasing that because you're living within your purpose. So if you're at that stage right now that you're, you know, you're in that lull, you've had a lot of time on your hands over the Christmas period and you're understanding that, the, hey, there's more for me. There's a, there's a, something that my gut is telling me right now that it's more for me, then you start. You need to start listening to that. You need to start finding ways on how to do that. You need to start to feel more respected. Maybe you are in a job right now that you do enjoy, but you're not feeling valued. Maybe you're not feeling respected right now and where you are, which is making you feel resentful, which is making you come home and not be the person that you usually are, which is making you have a different outlook on everything. Maybe you're not as motivated anymore. These all correlate, guys. But if you can understand the paradigm mindset shift and you can understand the habit stacker program and get clarity on them, guarantee you this will change just like it's changed all of the other people this year. Over 45 people this year have been impacted by these two programs. So again, this is what it's all about. And it's actually, it all comes down to when are you ready? Because it's always going to be there, but it's when you're ready. When are you sick and tired of continuing to be on this hamster wheel or going, you know, working up this property, working up this career ladder for so long only to realize that the ladder has been on the wrong building the whole time. And then when you get to the end, you had this empty feeling because you know what, there's more for you and you know it. So, you know, if you're ready to change your life, Hit, this, hit the like button on this or reach out to me via this podcast and let's get clarity on your life. Let's get clarity on your life. It doesn't matter where you are, if it's you're a business owner or if you're starting out or if you've got, I need to know where I'm at, right? I need to, I need to understand where I can go and where I can find more meaning. Hey, that's the perfect place. That's the perfect place, place for change. <laughs> Pies and fees, yes. Yeah. So I've got a couple of questions here, and I'm going to answer them. I'm going to answer them. I've, I've put out a poll earlier, and um, I've had some amazing questions coming in. So let's let's hit them. First question is, how would you define a real friend? Hmm. And this this is a good one, and I, I've, I've you know I've tussled with this over times because 
it depends where you are but for me right now and for me always it's um a real friend is someone who's going to tell you well done but they're actually going to tell you hey you're being a dickhead right now when you aren't doing things which are good for you which aren't rewarding and at the time those people are actually going to stick around the long haul the ones who are just patting you on the back regardless or you know cheer you, cheering you on only when you're being an idiot those guys won't be there at the end the one who is calling you out on your bullshit at the start but he still supports he supports the good in you and he's calling you out on the others he's the real friend so a real friend is someone who's direct with you and honest he wants the best for you he's going to call you out we have fun time friends people that you might have just you know that you've gone to school with and you still catch up with time to time they are fun time friends you know when you when you want to pour your soul out and you want to get you know whatever's on your chest that might not be those guys but understanding that and giving awareness to that is going to save you the pain and anger that might happen if you continue down that path so that that would be my answer to that next question define success hmm when I think about defining success, it's your purpose, like I said, doing things which are in line with you, giving back, so, um, supporting others. But the biggest one when you define success is not giving up after failures, not giving back, back after set setbacks. Understanding that if you have a setback or a failure, but you continue to pursue it, and you continue to grow and you know learn from it and keep moving that's success 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 isn't just like a final thing hey you've made a million pounds hey you this is where you are your success that is amazing but i'm pretty sure once you get there you're going to want to keep going you want to keep going and you're going to have setbacks when you get to that stage so for me set you know success comes back from keep going after your first failure keep going because you're going to succeed Next question. I'm feeling a bit lost at the moment from Christmas to New Year's. What can I do? Well, there's a multiple reasons from that. But main one would probably be that you're out of out of sync, out of routine. And again, it's some discomfort you. There's some discomfort in the fact that, you know, you're so used to being go, 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 that when you stop, you know, these emotions that you've suppressed or ignored, they're all they're popping up right now. And that's what I would say to all of my clients is, you know, understanding where they're coming from and journaling that out. How, how is that making me feel? I feel discomfort. Well, why do you feel discomfort? Ask yourself why six times. So if I say, why do you feel dis discomfort right now? And you, you answer it, I need to say why on top of that answer. And then why, 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 and why? And you'll get to the core of it. You'll get to the root of what that is. So that would be one, you know, why are you feeling that right now? And maybe it's time for you to reset and recharge. Maybe your body's been screaming for you to sleep a lot at the moment. You know, it's feeling tired. It's feeling achy. And you haven't given it this time to reset. So maybe it, maybe it is okay to just sleep now and then. Maybe it is to relax. Maybe it is to spend some time with your loved ones. Or maybe it is to reset and recharge and redirect where you want to go right now. Hmm. Maybe it's the wake-up call that you needed. Maybe it is that. Unless I got what it is, I can't give the, the honest answer to it. But for me, speaking now and just reading that, you know, there's a, there's a lot of things right now. Maybe you need a detox from social media. Maybe you need a detox from being on your phone. <clears throat> Maybe it's loads of these things. Maybe it's a caffeine break. Maybe it's off the coffee. Next and last question. How to make 2024 the biggest year? I love that. I love that. I, I don't know if I can say it in one way, so I'm going to say it in maybe two or three ways. I'm, I'm very sporadic. So I'm going to say first and foremost is if you want to better yourself and you're sick of doing the same thing over and over again, and next year, 2024, is a year for you to start to really thrive and drive and get clarity in what you want, surround yourself with the best type of people. Surround yourself with people who are getting at it. Surround yourself with people who are wanting the best for you. Surround yourself with people who are, you know, leveling up. It's like anything. You surround yourself with those type of people. You're going to level up. It's just...
common knowledge that that happens. If you surround yourself with people who just want to get on the beer all the time, then that's going to happen. It's just the way it is. The way it is, simple as that. So that'll be number one. Number two in this downtime right now of where you are is figuring out what is going to be the most impactful thing for you thing for you next year. Writing down a mission statement. Writing down what it is that you want. Writing down, you know, the, the goals. You know, what would be what would be an impressive year if you could have achieved that? You know, maybe it is a side business, maybe it is getting back to the gym, maybe it is eating cleaner, maybe it is spending more time with loved ones. Whatever it is, it doesn't have to be massive, it doesn't have to be small. Maybe it is stop being so negative for yourself. Maybe it is changing that. Maybe it is writing just gratitudes every day, you know. People undermine gratitude. People undermine saying the good in things. It's so much easier to do the negatives. But little simple things saying, what are you grateful for? A really simple one. Do that for your goal for next year. But in all of this, I've never pointed the finger at another person. Have you noticed that right now? Throughout everything I've spoke about, everything I've spoke about is all you. It's never once been the reason why you're not doing things is because of X, Y, and Z, which is other people. It's all about you, shifting that mindset. So they'll be the key ones. Um, and you know, the last one, the last one is, um, let's see if, if we can get it on the board. I've got it, I've got Facebook Live going at the same time, so we're going to try and bring it over you and see if I can, see if they can see it. So for instance, if you were to, for instance, we're going to put a little stick book man on the board right here. We're going to put a circle around him. And over the time, right, this circle that I've got around this person, I know you can't see it on this podcast right now, but on this circle, um, you know, you've been playing it safe in that circle. So that might be you've been going, you know, the routine of grocery shopping, seeing mum and dad, my partner, kids, going to the gym, having a couple of beers on the weekend. That's what you've been doing this period right now. But if I did another circle around it, and for you to start achieving what you want, you've got to get out of this inner circle and you've, st you've got to start playing in the outer circle. So that might be getting clarity of what you want, mapping out how you're going to do it. That might be, like I said, surrounding yourself with the right people. That might be going to seminars, getting a mentor, understanding your triggers, bringing awareness. All of these things are out of your comfort zone. Ringing that boss for that opportunity asking someone your team leader your manager hey i want to grow can i grow on a progression plan with my company those are all these things which are going to get you to that next next level that's going to get you to them 5 10k months that's going to get you to the you know the the um more confidence that's going to remove self sabotage but the thing which is going to get you there is you getting out of your comfort zone stop playing it safe that's the simple thing in this stop playing it safe it all comes down to you. When you're ready and you're and you're done with being sick and tired of what you're doing right now and you want to make change, you've got to get out of that comfort zone. Stop playing it safe. Because the future you is going to thank you for doing that. That's the truth on that one. So, in saying that, we've got a lot of things coming up in the next year. One big thing is we're going to start well, we've already started. So if you are in the South Wales area, if you're around Bridgend, Cardiff, Puthcall, that area, once a month we're going to be building a community community of training. Optional C dips if you're not ready, wanting to do that, but training, adding meditation to it. Coffees, you've got to bring the coffee there. It brings the community together. And learning, learning mindfulness. These are all things which are going to be implemented for, th for free if you are in the, in the South Wales area right now. So guys, there's so many gems in this right now, but understanding all of them, getting clarity on the mindset, sh uh, the paradigm mindset shift and the habit stacker. Two of these have changed over 45 people of my cl current clientele, double their income, shift their mindset, have meaning, love their life, love their family and weight loss as well, losing weight. Isn't that crazy? What can achieve when you shift your mindset? And this is going to be, I'm going to say my last thing right now. This is the honest truth about it all. Everything in life, right? Everything in life is hard. Doesn't matter what it is. If it's getting out of shape, it's hard. Getting in shape, it's hard. Bettering yourself, it's hard. Staying comfortable and staying, playing it safe is hard. 
you know, letting negative thoughts override you is hard. Buying into gossip is hard. Improving your mindset. Taking your, your job from, you know, an average income to a double in its income is hard. But if you've got the tools and you've got a mentor who's got given you clarity and he's he's like your biggest fan behind your back and you're around like-minded people, this is so much easier, so much easier. So if you are ready to do that and you're ready to get clarity on 2024, it's time to rock and roll. Start impl- implementing these two fundamentals on changing your life. And I'm telling you now, you're going to see some wins very, very quickly. Guys, I am grateful for this opportunity. I hope you enjoyed this. And thank you so much. I wasn't going to do this over the Christmas period, but I knew I was getting a lot of messages out from people. And I'm glad I've done this. I'm glad I've done this. And I'm glad you're enjoying this. And um, oh, I'm so excited what's going to happen. I'm grateful for everything. But I'm so excited where we're going to be in 2024. And if you want to be a part of it, amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much, guys.